Hey everyone, welcome back to Airbow Insider. Today, we've got an exciting video that you won't want to miss. We're covering the UrbanDeveloper.com's news article about the short-term rental cap in Byron Shire. Whether you're an Airbnb host or just curious about the latest news about Airbnb, this video has something for everyone. So hit that like button and get ready to be entertained and informed. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Are you ready to dive into some exciting news about Byron Shire Council and their approach to short-term rentals in New South Wales? Well, grab your virtual surfboard because we're about to ride the waves of change. Nestled along the stunning coastline of New South Wales, Byron Shire has always been a hot spot for tourists seeking the perfect getaway. But what's the buzz about their short-term rental cap? Let's explore. In a recent article about the urban developer, it's revealed that Byron Shire Council is taking steps to regulate short-term rentals in a way that respects the community's character and dynamics. Mayor Michael Lyon, beaming with enthusiasm, recently spoke about his new initiative in a press conference. He emphasized the importance of striking a balance between welcoming tourists and preserving the unique essence of Byron Bay. The decision didn't come overnight. It involved careful planning and community engagement. Byron Shire Council understands the importance of listening to the residents and stakeholders. The sunsets here are spectacular, and now Byron Shire Council aims to make sure everyone can enjoy them. They've introduced a short-term rental cap, which means a maximum number of nights that a property can be rented for short stays. Local business owners are thrilled about this move. They see it as a way to encourage visitors to explore the region while supporting the local economy. Families vacationing in Byron Bay will have more options to choose from, thanks to the diverse range of accommodation now available. And of course, for the surfers, beach lovers, and nature enthusiasts, this is great news. It means you can continue to cherish the beauty of Byron Bay without feeling overrun by short-term renters. So as the sun sets over Byron Bay, we applaud Byron Shire Council for taking this thoughtful step towards harmonizing tourism with community values. Before we dive back into the content, please consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying the video. Your support is much appreciated and helps others find this content. If you're new here, subscribe to stay updated with our Airbnb-related videos released several times a week at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to enable notifications. Feel free to share your questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section. We value your feedback and love engaging with our audience. Thanks for being here with us. Welcome back. Now we know about Byron Shire's empathetic actions on the Airbnb scene in their place, here are six key takeaways we can learn from them. Learn how effective planning and regulation can help strike a balance between encouraging tourism and preserving the unique character and interests of a community. Understand the importance of involving residents and stakeholders in decision-making processes. Byron Shire Council's engagement with the community reflects a commitment to hearing and addressing concerns. Recognize how regulations on short-term rentals can support local businesses and promote economic growth in a tourist-dependent area. Explore the benefits of offering diverse accommodation options for tourists, ensuring that they have choices while supporting the local economy. Discover how managing the impact of short-term rentals can contribute to the sustainability of a popular tourist destination. Gain insights into how local government initiatives can influence the overall experience and atmosphere of a tourist destination and how they can align with community values and interests. These lessons provide valuable insights for communities, local governments, and businesses seeking to create a harmonious environment between tourism and local character. What will you surely remember from this information we have for you? Comment down below and share it with us. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time.